In this video we are installing injectors in our C11 engine. First thing we need to do is clean the injector down and install our O-rings. There's three O-rings to go on per injector. On the cylinder head, the injector bore needs to be cleaned as well. Once that's clean we can give that a wipe with engine oil to help lubricate the seals. As far as lubricating the O-rings on the injector, Caterpillar recommends a 50-50 blend of engine oil and a particular thread lubricant. I just use straight engine oil. Uh, I've never had a problem with that and I know a lot of people just use straight engine oil. Using my sauce bottle that I cleaned out, I put a generous amount of engine oil on each o-ring. You can't really go overboard there, you're not going to hurt anything. Hold down bracket goes on before you put the injector in and then center the injector over the hole and lower it in. The injector is sitting above its final position. We use the hold down bolt and bracket to seat the injector properly, which we'll do in a minute. The hold down bracket goes on top of the ledge there. You cannot push these injectors in. You have to use the hold down bolt and bracket to pull the injector to its final spot. Don't use old hold down bolts. They'll come loose on you. you use new ones. They're cheap and readily available. So I've got a socket on the hold down bolt and I'm using a ratchet and I'm just slowly winding it down and you'll see in a second the injector being pulled into its hole. You should feel a light constant resistance from the hold down bolt as you pull the injector down. If it binds up on you or gets hard, I would stop something's misaligned or something's gone wrong. You don't have to force these in. As you can see, the injector's gone down into its hole, the O-ring's gone, it's now sitting up against its seat. And we torque the hold down bolt to 55 newton meters plus or minus 10, I just picked 60 newton meters. And check it a couple of times just to make sure you've got a consistent torque. When you're putting the injector in, just make sure that you're not failing on any of those tabs underneath the valve spring. You can see on the hold down bracket that it doesn't bottom out onto the cylinder head and you can see the bolt sticking out. And this is the next injector being put in. It's the same process for all six injectors. Nothing varies on them. Hold down bolt, lubed up and installed. Run it in by hand just to make sure it's not cross threaded. And then bit by bit we wind it down with a ratchet. These injectors I'm putting back in the engine are used injectors. If you use the old injectors, make sure you put them back in order that they come out so you don't have to do the trim file number. On top of the injector, where it's yellow and made out of plastic, there's a bunch of numbers on there. I'd like to take a video over the top of the engine and record all those numbers just in case we need to do the trim files again. Uh, you don't have to take the tappet cover off and inspect it. Not the end of the world but it is a pain in the butt and if it's on a loader or some sort of mobile plant there's usually a bunch of stuff over the top of there that makes that job actually pretty pretty time consuming. If you enjoyed this video can you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more videos like this.